got um, 140 against us when I was captain. Alan Border was actually the manager on that trip. And at the end of the day's play, we said, well, you can't play any better than that. No one can play a better innings than that. And Alan said, yep, I'm sure he can't do that again. Next day, we played him again. He got, uh, he got 141 first day. He got 142, 143 the next day and played as well, if not better. I mean, it was probably the two of the greatest one-day innings as I've ever seen, and they were back-to-back, and you know, we, just could, we just didn't look like getting him out. Sachin Tendulkar is hard in any uh, circumstances because I think he's the best batsman in the world and probably daylight second. I think he's that good. And um, I think in the conditions in Sharjah, you know, they do favour batsmen, and it is hard to get somebody like that. When he gets in that mood, when he gets on a roll, the momentum going, the crowd behind him, um, you know, he's just about unstoppable. <laughs> Hello, today we have something really special from the Cricket Classics. Two innings from Sachin Tendulkar in one program. People talk about them as the moment when Sharjah came of age. They were simply unforgettable. He was, as Shane said, unstoppable. The first match was in effect a semi-final. The Australians had already qualified through to the final, but because India and New Zealand had won a game each, if India lose, they need a superior run rate. If they win, they qualify for the final. Well, the Australians won the toss and elected to bat first on a very good-looking Sharjah pitch. Mark Waugh with 81 and Michael Bevan with 101 of just 103 deliveries put the Indian bowling to sword. The best bowler for India was Venkatesh Prasad with 2 for 41. Sachin Tendulkar was also in the game as a bowler, 1 for 27 of his 5 overs. So India need 285 at 5.7 runs per over, but more important, they need 254 to better the New Zealand run rate and qualify for the final. This was pure theatre, high tension and excitement. A daunting task for India and for Sachin Tendulkar. Ian Chappell is there and he has set the scene. Anguli uh, to take strike. It's going to be Damien Fleming. Who comes from the Sharjah club end. Fleming has been in very good form. He'll be rested. He missed the game against uh, New Zealand. Anguli with a century against New Zealand but uh, a single-figure score against Australia. Tendulkar at the non-striker's end. Another uh, great player. He was a great uh, batsman, whether it be Test cricket or one-day internationals. Viv Richards, uh, Sonny. He used to come out a lot of times, and he goes smack, bang, crash, wallop. And you'd think in the field, We've got a chance of getting this guy out. For the first 20 runs, he'd hit the ball in the air and he'd play a lot of shots and he'd think, we've got a chance with this guy. And then suddenly he just settled down and well, then he knew he didn't have much chance. So I'm just wondering with what Ravi was saying, what sort of a post do you think uh, Sachin will take from him? Well, I think Sachin, knowing him, will be looking to get 284. He won't be looking at 254. made Sachin Tenuka think twice. He was coming onto the front foot even before the ball had been delivered. Now he'll think twice. No fine leg. That's a way 
four. Four. It's only just going to trickle there. And Michael Kasovic uh, didn't chase hard. I think he realised it was just going to get there. Michael Kasovic, uh, having strolled around and picked that ball up, he's now going to have a bowl. And if India uh, miss out on the finals by just a couple of runs, there's a couple of batsmen who should be kicking themselves because uh, you should always run hard. Nicely into the gap. Won't go for four. Struggling just a little bit over there. The 
this will be a second boundary. That's what he's sent out to do. Yes, he's put this one away. Just straying on to leg stump. And this time, Tendulkar got some bad on it. Six overs now for 41. Required run rate. Still under six runs per over, so that's fine as far as the Indians are concerned. And spin being introduced for the first time in this uh, Australian oh, innings. Shane Warren, the bowler. Stocks uh, with an eye to selection for the World Cup in 1999. One for 16, one for 21, one for 40. It's uh, been quite accurate and the economy rate has been okay. And he's made runs as well powerfully most of the time. 13 overs for 61. Get the timing of the place for the Harvey comes around. 
Good running. Good figure. like to play against the best and to put yourself against the best. At times in Australia I've had uh, I've done pretty well against such and in times in India uh, I felt like digging a big hole and crawling under one so I think over the years it's been a great challenge. I think he's probably played some magnificent in innings against Australia and at times we've got him out cheaply so I think he he's one of those guys that if you don't get him out early he can really hurt you and he scores so fast and whether it be quick or spin he's just equally as good. This is turning out to be a really useful partnership. 66 of 78 balls. Mongi has played a, a little gem of an inning so far. But Tendulkar has made 50. Well played. When the tucks, when it's tough, the tuck gets going. And it looks today if Tendulkar has set himself to get 100. Played very well in this partnership, Mongia. In the air, that's out, he's in it straight to mid wicket. So the partnership have been broken. Mongia actually has done his stuff. He came out there, promoted in the order, was told to get on with it, and he's played a little gem of an innings. Mongia hitting that one to Mark War. A very casual uh, catch taken by Mark War. He was back. On the line, saw it all the way, and then just had a bit of throwing practice. India, 107 for two. So the Indian captain, Mohammad Azradin, now has arrived at the crease before the start of play. The two of us mentioned the importance of uh, Mohammad Azradin and Tendulkar. One of them could score 100, and then uh, it may well be that India can get up. Tried the stumps and wide. And he's back for the second. Well, everyone counts. Oh, he's bowled him. Well, that's a big breakthrough. It really looked as if uh, Mohammed Azuddin was getting a little impatient there. He tried to blast that one through the offside. It just seemed that his back leg slipped away a little bit and uh, it uh, dragged back onto the stumps. And so that's a big blow. Mohammed Azuddin, the Indian captain, out bowled. This one was quite a wide delivery outside off stump. He's got a thick inside edge. And it's crashed into leg stump. Azuddin. Uh, Amused by it all, probably feeling that he's a touch unlucky. It's 135 for three. IJ Jadeja is the new batsman. He's a right hander and uh, he's also got plenty of experience. 127 matches, an average of 35. Lots of runs there. Our best of 119 against Sri Lanka in Colombo back in 97 98. Well, it's out, he's got him, what a magnificent catch, and that does change the game. Adam Gilchrist throws himself to the right, takes a brilliant one-handed catch. Steve Waugh takes the wicket of Ten Dulka. Gardasia, I'm sorry. And that really is just what the Australians wanted. Oh, what a beauty. You won't get to see too many better catches than that. Oh, we could keep up. This was travelling quickly. Superb reflexes, sticks out by right hand and comes up with the ball. Australians are delighted. Steve Waugh has broken through. The danger the informed player has gone and India have lost their fourth wicket for 138. Yes, actually uh, that sandstorm event was put as a question to us in a quiz time program uh, where somebody was picking up a ball and we were asked what happened next. 
and there was hardly any clue in that. I remember Sunil Gawaskar getting agitated and said, the next ball was bowled. What happened next? What do you mean? And then the sandstorm came over. And uh, that's another fond and great memory of Sharjah is Sachin Tendulkar's series. We should really call that Sachin Tendulkar's series. And uh, I wasn't there. I was watching it on television in one nightclub. And the people had forgotten about whining and dancing. They were just watching Sachin. And at that time, there's something that came to my mind when I saw Sachin Tendulkar play the way he did. At that time, I thought he was potentially, at that time, had reached uh, a stage where he was potentially the second greatest batsman ever. And that is a feeling that I got. And I'm looking at potentially the best batsman after Don Bradley. There's just a dust storm here, desert storm brewing here. Plenty of dust blowing across the ground. It's a problem for the batsmen and the fielders. Can easily get into the eyes, can be very distracting. Look at Tom Moody. Empire is not spared to. Well, this is interesting. We've had rain uh, stopping play. We've had bad light stopping play. It's been a long time since a sandstorm has stopped play. There's sand uh, all over the place. It's impossible to play out there. I think the players might just leave the field for a little while. Well, what happens now? Let you know in a minute what will happen if play is stopped after 31 overs. This has now been reduced to a 46 over contest. The empires are making their way to the middle, and it's nice to see the Australians too. And what's amazing is that just 20 miles away, it's raining very heavily in Ajman. see some aggression from the Indian batsmen now because they hey. really haven't gained much from the break. 133 from 15 overs is still asking a lot. They said to qualify Greg for the final they would need 237 from 46 so that's not going to be easy either. And he's gone straight over the top and he's hit it very well. Just landed just in front of the side screen. So six of the last ball. Also brought up the 150 ball here. We were 151 for four after 22. I always love this uh, time in a one-day match when batsmen are throwing their bats uh, hey there, as if the sale signs are on. Everything must go. This is what I like. This is what the crowd loves as well. Played well, uh, and we're looking to make room to play over the top. And Ron Golden flat just guided it to back to the point. Yeah, needs 72 runs from 66 balls to qualify. Just over the head of it on, just into the boundary before the field run. Good shot. A wonderful stroke. There are two men out there. One at long on, one at long off. And neither could get round. They didn't have far to move. Sensational stroke. Oh, and a very good looking teddy bear as well. Converted it into a full toss.
188 to 4 now for 38.
you know that happens quite a bit with Sachin Tendulkar getting out on no balls and some blinders taken, catches taken. He's not the luckiest man uh, when it comes to batting, uh, and that happened there as well. Sachin Tendulkar that I know has, you know, he everybody likes to get scores. You know, you like to get a hundred, a fifty, or you know, play a great innings. But he's a total team man, and if a team wins, I mean, that is the ultimate for him. And that is genuine. I mean, there are some people who would say, you know, teams win is important, but may not feel it from within. Sachin Tendulkar wants to be on the winning side. And he's a competitor. When he's playing individually also, he wants to be the better opponent. And when, he, when he's playing a team game as well, that's the focus. So I think when you ask him as well, what's special about those innings, he will say one thing, that they help India win that championship. It was Sachin Tendulkar for India that ruled the roost. 143 from 131 balls, Nayan Mongia was promoted up the order, batted well for his 35 of 46 deliveries. In the end, Indians got to 250 with 5 wickets down in 46 overs. Two bowlers from Australia that looked impressive, Fleming with 2 for 46 and Tom Moody, the tall all-rounder, picked up 2 for 40 in his 9 overs. Australia won by 26 runs due to the sandstorm, a revised target for India of 276 from 46 overs. Of course, Sachin was declared the man of the match for the 143. He scored of 131 balls, 9 fours and 5 sixes he hit in all. Don't go anywhere. There's more of Sachin to come in a moment. Such a special and classic action from Sharjah. So far in this tournament, Sachin has scored 307 runs from 302 deliveries with 25 fours and 6 sixes. But India have only won one match. And how dearly Sachin would like to win the tournament by playing another great innings to follow his 143 against Australia. Australia remained unchanged for this match, whereas Indians made two changes, Agurka and Sangwi in. Azruddin won the toss for India and put Australia in. Gilchrist got them off to a good start, 45 with just 60 deliveries, a couple of very good knocks, one from Steve Waugh, the other by Lehman got them to a position of strength. They ended up with 272 in the quota of 50 overs for the loss of nine wickets. Venkatesh Prasad was a pick of the bowlers, 2 for 32. Two wickets went for Agurka, two was picked by Kanetka. So the target for Sachin Tendulkar this time is 273 at 5.46 per over. We join Richie Benno in the commentary box waiting for the action to start. Now, that's what's needed, 273, 50 overs, the asking rate, 5.46 per over. This has been a terrific tournament, a wonderful match between India and Australia, the last one on Wednesday night. And now this final, because the Australians fought back so splendidly, it's set up for a lovely contest on the final night. Very close to being a ride as well. 
fact that it's got the body of the batsman, you can't very well call it a wide. In fact, it didn't hit anything. Well, if it hit anything, it wasn't the, the body of the batsman. I think Adam Gilchrist was pretty confident that the only thing it could have hit was the bat. The danger is if he got out early, then the team could easily just sink mentally. that made Ganguly play that shot he realized that uh, he had to make sure that it wasn't uh, an over which was a scoreless over he had to score off it tried to pull uh, the ball hurrying on to him and uh, catching him in an awkward position and him ending up I think a simple catch to Moody he's out for 23 and India 39 for one once again as a uh, Muhammad Azruddin is using Ayan Mongia as his pinch hitter. He did a terrific job uh, the other night in the match against Australia. Accepting that Tendulkar has hit it under and has hit it over the field of the line.
Got him. The umpire eventually put up his finger, but that was only because uh, there was an appeal after the batsman walk. Quite a thick edge and Fleming. Happy birthday. Yes, indeed. Uh, man, Mogia. Time to play the ball to a third man. This is a typical one day shot. But as I've been saying, it's not uh, a shot that pays you too many dividends. This time it's cost Man Mongia his wicket. He's out after playing a good hand of 28, and India have lost their second wicket to 128. Playing in the final, the pressure was there, and uh, he didn't want to, you know. Say that was just a fluke in the semi-final. He wanted to continue where he left it. I think it proved that he can dominate the Australian bowlers. And we had a very good partnership with uh, Sachin. And uh, that sealed the game for us when we had a 90-odd runs uh, and quick success. Ahmed Azruddin comes out to join Sachin Tendulkar.
the uh, one that Sachin Tendulkar smashed in the air and uh, was a little lucky to get away with it. Just bounced uh, just over the field with head and the deep edge to cover. Just couldn't quite get there. Every effort in the world. Have a look at Shane Warren, doesn't he try? Wow, what a performance. I'm sure he wanted to be there at the end. It was enough to ensure victory to India, which would have made him happy, because so many times he makes a hundred, but India lose. Indians lost Ganguly early for 23, but the third wicket partnership of 120 between Mohammad Azruddin and Sachin Tendulkar made sure that India got to that total of 272. They in fact ended up with 275 after 48.3 overs. Sachin Tendulkar, 134 of 131 balls, 12 fours and 3 sixes. The two Australian bowlers that impressed in the bowling department, Fleming with 2 for 47 of 10 overs, Kasper Vicks 2 for 48 also in his 10 overs. With those innings he swept all the awards, the fastest 50 in 44 balls, the most sixes hit 9, the man of the match award and of course the man of the series award. It was a staggering performance, he scored 435 runs with 37 fours and 9 sixes, that was really something special. Coming up your way, there's more special on Sachin Tendulkar when he took on Henry Olanga in the same year. But for now, it's goodbye till we meet again for Cricket Classics. The thing I remember most about that was Alan Border, our caretaker coach at the time. Basically the team met he said, look, you won't have to worry about this guy, he's not going to get 140 again. And he was right, he only got 130 odd, but uh, <laughs> he played superbly well and he, he won the game single-handedly. We, you know, we had every other Indian batsman under control and had their measure except for Tendulkar and he just... He really just took, took the game away from us and won the game single-handedly.